We want to factor this polynomial completely. First, we look for a greatest common factor. If there is none, then we count the terms. There's three, so we break this polynomial into its two factors. We know there has to be an x in the first term, and then we have choices of 7 and 2 or 14 and 1. I'll start with the 7 and 2 and try that with all the combinations of the factors of 15. If none of them work, then we'll try the 14 with the 1. If we're looking at the factors of 15, we've got 5 and 3, or 3 and 5, because that would give us different ones when we multiply by the 2 versus the 7. Then we've got 15 and 1, and 1 with 15. So if I start with the 5 and the 3, I can say I get 10 on the inside, and um, 21 on the outside. 10 and 21 is only 31, so that's not going to work. So I know it can't be 5 with a 3. I do know both signs are positive because the last sign is positive and so is the first. So they'll both be positive, so it's not going to be the 5 with the 3. Let's try the 3 with the 5. Well, 7 times 5 is 35. 3 times 2 is 6. 35 and 6 is 41. So it looks like 7x plus 3 times 2x plus 5 are the correct choices to give me the 15 in the last term, the 14x squared for the first term, and the 41x in the middle. And neither one can bro be broken down any further, so that's a completely factored form.